The bubble map is kind of more like a chloroplast in that the size of the bubble is representing a number value for a numeric variable. And so here, the size of the bubble, the amount of the color that is showing up does represent a difference between two locations. So in this example, if the bubble were a lot bigger, if that purple bubble was a lot bigger in Alaska than it is in Hawaii, that does represent a numeric difference between. And so we use these maps, we show, we represent lots of data by the color or the bubble size that's going on in the maps and helping make sure our students have that initial orientation can really help.